Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. So 1,469 days ago to the day the Cybertruck was unveiled to the world. And since then, we haven't really heard much about it. The Cybertruck has probably been the best kept secret in the entire tech and auto industry. Like, it's crazy just how little to like nothing that we've heard about it until today. So the first batch of Cybertrucks were finally delivered to customers, and we finally have a lot more info about it, which I'm about to share with you. So let's get started. Starting with the delivery event. So in the traditional Tesla fashion, it started like 20, 30 minutes late, which you know I, I would expect nothing less from Tesla. If it started on time, I would actually be a little bit nervous. But so, uh, there was a lot of there were a lot of people that had plus one you know invitations to the delivery event, and it turns out that due to some sort of fire code or something like that, that these people were turned away. Basically, the event was they they allowed too many people. But could you imagine though if you had like you know a plus one or like an invite, you get all the way to like you know to Austin, you spend all this money, you get a hotel, you fly to Austin, just to get turned away. Like hey, our bad, too many people, we can't let you in. Like that's kind of a foul on Tesla for that one. Uh, I would have, I would, I would have been a little bit more prepared for that one. But yeah, that that kind of sucks. If you're one of those people, I'm sorry. That's 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 pretty crappy. But. But finally, like, you know, Elon comes up on the stage, he gets in the back of the truck and, you know, starts talking about some, so, cause we're going to talk about basically kind of like two things that stood out to me during the delivery event. The first one is going to be the bullet test. So we, we've seen videos originally of the cyber truck driving around with bullet holes in the side of it, but finally we got to see, you know, it getting shot. And in the video here, these are 45 caliber bullets that this dude is putting into the side of this truck. And it's not penetrating the armor like at all. So basically, this is an armored vehicle with the exception of the glass, which we'll talk about here in a sec. But yes, it is basically it's it's armor, which I thought that was pretty awesome. But speaking of the glass, um, we all remember the shatter incident from 2019. It said who who could who could forget it that? Was a little too hard. <laughs> but they decided to recreate this test. But instead of using a steel ball, Franz threw a baseball at it and. That wasn't impressive, in my opinion. That's what I thought was odd about the delivery event. It, it was very short, and they didn't really talk about much. Actually, a lot of it, it's all on Tesla's website right now. Like, the second the delivery event ended, Tesla updated their website, which they were super quick on that. But so, but apparently, the windows of the Cybertruck can take a, a baseball at 70 miles an hour or, like, up to Class 4 hail, which that's pretty impressive. That's stuff that they should have talked about during the event or show, like, a video of, you know... A freaking like baseball player throwing a baseball at the cyber truck at 70 miles an hour. That would have been something that we would have wanted to see. So, but I said we'll do further testing on this, you know, armored. They're still calling it armored glass, but we just don't know honestly too much about it. But the next thing, the next thing that I'm talking about super impressed me, and that's the speed test. So it shows a cyber truck and a Porsche 911 right on the line about like they're about to race race starts both cars take off cyber trucks in the league beats the porsche 911 and you're like oh okay that's pretty cool you know big old truck beats a porsche 911 no it gets better the cyber truck was towing a porsche 911 on a trailer so a tesla cyber truck is faster than a porsche 911 while towing a porsche 911 let that one sink in a little bit, folks. Like, I, w I wouldn't have believed, like, I would have never believed that until I saw the video, which you've seen it here now. So, which that's crazy. That's crazy in my opinion that uh, that it's able to do that. So I'm really looking forward to, to to kind of seeing that in action, like someday when I get my Cybertruck. But now is going to be kind of the where the, the, the roller coaster of emotions kind of comes in. So make sure you're sitting down for this one. And that's the pricing and the specs, which the funny thing is at the delivery event, Elon didn't even talk about the pricing and the specs. You know, he delivered like 10 or 11 cyber trucks. That was kind of it. And he said, okay, cool piece. It's actually on Tesla's website. That's where I'm getting all this info from. And like I said, I got my trusty laptop here just because I don't want to do you all dirty with misinformation. There's plenty of that going around, but we're going to start one by one and we're going to go over some pricing and hopefully you don't throw up a bit. 
So let's recap back to 2019. We had the single motor, dual motor, tri motor, 40,000, 50,000, 70,000. Prices have changed just a bit, just a bit, folks. And oh, God, I don't want to talk about it. But we're going to start with the single motor, which is now called the rear wheel drive, which, yes, the single motor is alive and well. There was a lot of rumor that it was dead. Nope, it is back and it is here. So instead of $40,000, it now starts at $60,990. Yeah, you heard that right. That is a $21,000 increase. It's also not available until 2025. The other two I'm going to talk about, those are available next year, supposedly. So if you do order a rear-wheel drive, you're not going to get it at least until 2025. It also only comes with 250 miles of range, which for a tr an EV for a truck, that's... I was hoping for a little bit more. I was hoping for something with a three in front of it. So if you're looking to tow or anything like that, the single motor is probably not going to be the one for you. It also has a zero to 60 of 6.5 seconds, which not great, but not terrible. It's a Chernobyl meme if, if you get that reference. Comment if you do. But now we're going to talk about the dual motor, which has now been renamed to the all-wheel drive. At least we can, that's what we can, we're safe to assume. It doesn't say how many motors it has on their website, but yeah, we'll talk about it. So the all-wheel drive dual motor, which was originally $50,000, is now $79,990. So you're looking at a $30,000 increase. It is just shy of 80 grand, so it does qualify for the tax credit, but it's similar to the Model X. You're not going to be able to add any accessories. You're literally going to be able to order the dual motor, and that's it, if you want, if you want the tax credit, which starting in 2024... It will be taken off at the uh, the price of the truck, so that'd be cool. So you'll get seventy five hundred dollars off, like to, like so that means you you won't have to get and it, like that's a lower loan amount basically, which you know that's good. But still though, that's all I'm looking at is a thirty thousand dollar price increase. It does start delivery in twenty twenty four. It has three hundred and forty miles of range, which I was I was hoping for more. I I wanted something more like you know, which then again. When you base it back to the original dual motor, that one was supposed to get 300. So we are seeing a 40 mile increase, but we're also seeing a $30,000 price increase. Uh, zero to 60 is 4.1 seconds, which, you know, that's faster than my Model Y. My Model Y is 4.8. So going down to 4.1, that's, you know, that's pretty impressive. Uh, 112 miles per hour top speed. It's got over 600 horsepower, 7,435 foot pounds of torque. That's, that's pretty, that's, that's freaking cool. That's, that's a lot. And then it can, it can tow 11,000 pounds. So if you're looking, if you have like a small camp or anything like that, this thing will be able to tow that thing without any issues. But now we're going to get to the third and final variant. So what was originally called the Tri-Motor has now been renamed to the Cyber Beast. Yes, the, the Cyber Beast. I'm not sure where that name came from, but you know, it is what it is. So comparing this to the Tri-Motor in 2019, that was $70,000. The Cyber Beast starts at 70, or excuse me, $99,990. Yeah, a $100,000 Cybertruck. Uh, deliveries are expected in 2024, similar to the all wheel drive. It has 325, or excuse me, 320 miles of range. It's zero to 60 time is 2.6 seconds. Whoa, that's quick. For a truck, 2.6 seconds in a truck that's awesome but it has a top speed of 130 845 horsepower 10,296 foot pounds of torque in a vehicle that's awesome that is that's free that's freaking crazy and this one similar to the all-wheel drive can also tow 11,000 pounds so there's your three variants that's uh, let, uh, let me know in, in the comments uh, what what are those prices like? Did do they shake you? Are you not even concerned? Do you even care? Like, what are your what are, what are your thoughts on like you know the price increase? Because to me, it kind of sucks because that makes it kind of extremely unaffordable. Like, you know, interest rates are stupid high right now. Like, uh, I'm very curious now. Now that Tesla, you know, has in theory two million pre-orders for the Cybertruck, how many people will actually take delivery of this truck now? I'm I'm, I'm maybe less than half, if that. That's just my guess. That's just, but we'll, like I said, we'll see. Only only time will tell. Uh, but when I when you thought that there were it was done, there actually is a little bit more. I'm pulling up some stuff from the the Cybertruck website. So there are some options you can get with it. We don't know the prices of these options yet, but they're kind of like off there at the bottom. So there's one thing you can get a light bar because on the original 
uh, prototype, there was a light bar and everyone, everyone was screaming for the light bar. They wanted it. So it looks like you can get the light bar. Well, if you want the tax credit, you can. There's no light bar for you. You'll have to get that added on later. But there's a light bar. There's a cyber tent, which I thought that was pretty cool. So if you're a camper, that'll actually, you know, you'll use that quite a bit. And there's also some, you know, some bigger off-road tires. Like I said, we don't know how much these cost yet. So just kind of stand by to stand by on that one. There also is an additional accessory, which Elon didn't talk about at all. We didn't hear anything about it. And that is something called the range extender. Yeah, so if you're disappointed in the range, kind of as I am, Tesla might have a, a solution for you. And it's something called the range extender. Uh, once again, we don't know how much that costs either. But apparently it's a battery pack that goes into the bed of the truck. I'm really curious how that's going to look. And I'm also curious how much that's going to cost. So, for example, on the all-wheel drive model, you're going to, with the range extender, you're going to be bumped up to 470 miles of range. So from 340 to 470, you know, it's a pretty decent amount. And for the Cyber Beast, you're going to 440 plus. So we're going from 330 to 440. So you're looking around 100, 110 miles of additional range with this range extender. But yeah, like how much is that going to cost? Like when's that going to be available? But they, that's the problem. They didn't talk about it. We didn't hear anything about any of these accessories or, or even the specs. That's why I thought this delivery event was just interesting, which I guess it is what it is, but I'm, I'm just glad that at least that's on the website. Cause I swear like people would have rioted if Elon would just left the stage and you look at the Cybertruck website and it just didn't change. Like, Hey, too bad. We'll tell you when we tell you. So I'm, I'm glad finally to see some specs, some pricing to at least see some, like at least the Cybertruck website changed. Cause yeah, it's been four years. And we've been seeing the same, like, you know, damn website. So at least we're getting, we're getting some additional, you know, details about this, but, but really that's, that's it. This is that, that was kind of a recap of the overall delivery event, the Cybertruck range, the pricing, you know, the specs, like everything you needed to know is hopefully here in this video. If you have any additional questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, if you're interested in one, you can you can actually reserve one. Reservations are back open for the Cybertruck. I will also leave my referral link down below. You can get some free full self-driving. Maybe they'll like offer some free supercharging. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. Helps me out a ton. And I appreciate all my new subscribers, everyone that's supporting me. But yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.